Have you ever felt remorse due to something that happened in the past or held a grudge against someone? Do you feel like you've been betrayed and can't bring yourself to forgive them? All of us have felt this at one point in our lives. Negative thoughts surround us every once in a while, but scientists are discovering that these thoughts don't only harm your mental health, but also your physical health. In order to examine the effects of negative emotions on our bodies, Researchers examined both male and female patients as they analyzed their most painful memories and grudges. During the examination, they paid attention to blood pressure, heart rate, muscular tension, and sweat gland activity. Then, the patients were invited to imagine themselves forgiving the people that caused the negative emotions. The conclusion was quite surprising. The negative emotions increased their reaction to stress and their sweat production, while the forgiveness lowered blood pressure and relaxed muscles, including the facial ones. According to Dr. Stephen Standiford, head of surgery at the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the lack of forgiveness can have the same effects as a disease. He insists that refusing to forgive people that wronged them makes people sick and keeps them that way. When it comes to cancer, forgiveness also has an important role in its prevention. Dr. Michael Berry, author of the book, The Forgiveness Project, estimates that 61% of cancer patients have forgiveness-related problems. He even says that keeping the negative emotions, the rage and hate, creates a state of chronic anxiety, which, in turn, produces too much adrenaline and cortisol, reducing the number of cancer-fighting cells. A study published in the Journal of Behavioral Medicine shows that a person who forgives easily feels better both subjectively and psychologically. In other studies, forgiveness was linked to improved physical symptoms, less medication, better sleep quality, less fatigue, and less psychosomatic problems. Furthermore, forgiveness can protect your heart. A study published in the American Journal of Cardiology discovered that rage and other negative emotions are toxic for your heart, while forgiveness protects it. As you can see, the list of benefits that you can get by forgiving people is very long. But if forgiveness causes such an impact on our life, why don't we forgive more often? Unfortunately, in our culture, forgiveness is seen as a sign of weakness or submission. It is important to understand that forgiveness is a process and not an event. All forgiveness is making a conscious and deliberate decision to let go of the feeling of revenge, whether the person deserves it or not. If you're still mad at someone and haven't been able to forgive them yet, think about that decision some more. If you're still having a hard time, you might need to seek out a specialist. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For more recipes and tips, subscribe to the channel.